Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today we're going to be taking a look at a scary story about a basement. But before we get into that guys, go and subscribe to my other channels. Links are in the description. There's two channels I need you to subscribe to because if you saw yesterday's video, you know that at the end of this year, I'm quitting the daily uploads on this channel. So if you want to stay up to date with me, please go subscribe to the new channel. But anyway guys, this story is called Footsteps. And it is a scary story about two sisters who hear creepy noises when they are alone in the house. It is based on a true ghost story, and a version of this story appeared in Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. In that book, it was told from the point of view of the older sister, but in the real version, it is the younger sister who is telling the story. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's jump right over to the story. Footsteps. From the time I was old enough to notice things, I didn't like that house. I was afraid of the upstairs. I never felt safe there. Mama always kept the light burning at bedtime because I was afraid of the dark. One evening, when I was nine, my sister was downstairs and I was asleep in bed. She was expecting Mama to come home at any moment. When she heard the front door open, my sister called out, Hello, Mama. But there was no answer. She heard footsteps, but they didn't sound like Mama. Her footsteps were light, but these were heavy, like a man. Who's there? My sister called, but there was no reply. The footsteps continued up the stairs and wandered into all the bedrooms. But when my sister called out again, Who's there? The footsteps stopped. She was young and afraid, but she knew I was sleeping alone up there. So she took the lamp and searched all the rooms. She even went into the attic, but she didn't find anyone. My sister went back down to the dining room, but as soon as she sat down, the footsteps started again. They came down the stairs through the dark kitchen and then the door of the dining room where my sister was sitting slowly began to open. She was scared out of her wits. Get out, she screamed. The door slowly closed and the footsteps moved throughout the kitchen towards the front door. She heard the door open and shut, so she ran to the window to see who it was, but there was nobody in sight, and there were no footprints in the fresh snow. That was when she realized that whoever or whatever had walked in, it wasn't human. She huddled on the couch and waited for Mama to come home. Not long after that, we moved out. But something strange happened before we left. My sister and I were in the living room when all of a sudden, we heard terrible groans. It sounded like someone was in agony. The groans seemed to be coming from the cellar. They were so loud that our dog started howling and the hair stood up on the back of her neck. She would always go anywhere with me, but when I tried to coax her to come down into the cellar with me and investigate, she wouldn't go. The cellar was well lit, so my sister and I went down, following the groans, until we came to a little alcove and the groans ceased. I wanted to dig right there on the spot, but there was no time. I've always felt that if we had, we would have found the cause of all of our troubles. Perhaps someone's bones were buried there. We moved away soon after that, and Mama would never let me ask the people living there today if they had ever heard anything. We were all glad to get out of that house.
And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I thought it was pretty spooky. It makes me wonder what was actually down there. And at the beginning of the story, I told you guys this is actually based on a true story. And it reminds me of that demon house documentary that Zach Bagans, the house that he bought. And like they found all those remains of things like underneath the, the, the basement stairs. Like there was some stuff buried under there and it was like, it was almost as if somebody had done like some kind of ritual and summoned something into that house, which could have been the same thing that happened in this house. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash a like on the video and also go follow me on my other channels. Don't forget, it's very important. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out and chase your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.